next activity is from the following lesson we just looked at we're going to now look at ordering these groups by size so this is a group of numbers we call this group of numbers the natural numbers why they're natural because they would exist they would have existed with natural things like um, sticks houses objects you know you know one object one cat a house one one cat one, you know um, one sheep you know you can it's a counting number system so they're natural numbers because they can be linked to natural objects the next one is called the integers the integers as you can see they include all the natural numbers from one two three four five six all the way going up to infinity they also the integers have zero and the integers integers also have negatives okay so when it, when we're thinking about size of these numbers we're going to have to be thinking about well which one's bigger and how can we think bigger and smaller with these groups of numbers so I'm going to draw a little diagram here let's call the natural numbers this bag of all the natural numbers are in here and there's a special n i'm going to put here these are all the natural numbers okay we're going to have one two three dot, dot, dot. all the natural numbers exist here now i'm going to have another group of numbers let's call it the integers okay the integers okay it's going to have all these numbers so one is going to be here too as we can see one is in both okay two is going to be here three is going to be here etc etc also zero is going to be here minus one minus two etc so when we think about these two bags that's the natural that's the integer and we think about size well which one's bigger than which one how can we think about that and how can we try and relate them to and say well which one's bigger which one's smaller okay okay finally the rational numbers these are numbers that can be written as fractions so when you can write them in the form a over b but a and b are integers is called a rational number so any number that can be expressed in this form of, an, of a whole number or, or divided by another whole number in any way is a rational number. Like I said before, there is a common misconception about this. Um, so we can also have um, that people think can number two be a rational number? Well, of course it can because it can be written as two over one. Can the number 10 be written as a rational number? Of course it can. 10 divided by one is a rational number because it's a fraction with two whole numbers, A and B, which are integers. So, okay. So that's the rational numbers. So let's first look at these two then. Let's ask ourselves which group is bigger than the other group. Give a minute, pause if you need to, have a think about that. How would we describe size with these two sets of numbers? Okay. Okay, so when it comes to size, what I would like you to think about is, well, if all those numbers are in here, and this group has more numbers than that clearly this one's bigger how can i say that because all of these numbers are here one two three four five six and it has a zero and it has one so it's got all of that plus more so if it's got all of that plus more surely that's bigger right surely this one's the bigger one because it has all of those numbers and more Okay, it's an interesting point. We're going to build on this later on.